What weapons do we have? Uh, a rifle that you can't use. Actually, none of us can use that. And all of it's strangely worse than what we have equipped. Fantastic. I love that for us. No helmet, no necklace, no cape. Nothing extra there, but I do have. <gasps> Ooh, I like these colors. Oh, it says it's better, but it's like really not. <laughs> I'm down 24 physical armor, down 15 magical deflection. It increases the wearer's damage by 17%, which is great, but it's not really good otherwise. It's really pretty though, and I kind of really super want to wear it. What about you guys? Is it better for anybody? Oh, it might be for you. Yeah, it's meant to go to Nilan. Okay, well, rip. I wanted to wear it. What about the pants? Uh, physical armor is down five. Magic deflections up one. It increases your damage by seven percent, and resistance to poison. Uh, I'm not really enthusiastic about that. Although, physical armor would be great. I'm just gonna do that. You saw nothing, guys. What kind of ship were you wearing, Nilan? That that's in fact better for you? I have so many questions. Okay. No, you can keep what you're wearing. Alrighty. Now, apparently we all have upgrades, which I wasn't aware of. Uh, first aid allows you to heal yourself or an ally who is within range yeah i kind of feel like i need that but given how janky and clunky this game is in combat i really don't see a point gonna be real and i have to change my stance just to heal that's repulsive so i literally can't just heal in the heat of battle what oh no i don't no no no. that just reduces the cool times for healing and spells and positive effects in allies it increases damage to the caster. If I can just cast that, because it doesn't say it needs the stance. That just has a benefit and an detriment. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sacrifice portion of your life points to gain an action point. Fuck off, why would I want to do that? So it increases the damage dealt when life drops below the front. <laughs> no. How do I unlock these? I mean, I get that, but like, generally speaking, how do I unlock these? Violently charges an enemy. Oh, yeah, that. Cool. Um, well, but it's going to max out strength at this rate. Actually, you know what? Go hard or go home. They can't hurt you if you uh, don't let them. I want your healing to improve, sir. Heals the life points of targets in the area. You already have that. Yes. Okay. You get that. Congratulations. What does improve me? Not enough points to unlock. Healing wave restores 1.5 times more life when the target's life is under 25% enhanced. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. You're saying I could improve the shit I have? Okay, not the stances, but this I can. I she. Well, what would you like then, dear? I want you to hit things really hard. What's your path? Move back five meters. Yeah, not a fan. Shade gains an immunity against weakness. Okay, move back then. Hurtful words. It you hurt people with your words to weaken them. Lol. Causes a target. To okay, we've got those. Um, well, this is her trail. Her tree, so I do feel like we should do that. Uh, attributes. Um, I'm just going to strength you there. Okay. How do I enter tactical? That's a really good question. I didn't have an answer for that. No, not load. Options, game controls, tactical. Right mouse bumper. I haven't pressed that button, so fair. And then, 
No, 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 back. Oh, I just, I think I have to do this with a key. Bind. Like, why, why can't I just click that? Why have I got to cue it? Anywho, whatever. Where is my new ability? Knock down, violent charge. Uh, didn't we just pick up an ability? What? Destructive blow, taunt, knockdown. Destructive blow, taunt, knockdown. Destructive blow. So it's violent charge I haven't bound. Right. Um, my lantern needs to be on. Thank you. Bind. Not that I have any clue what that is here. What is it? It's left. Nope. Right trigger. That's you. Why? And then, how did I get into here again? This. Is my lantern on? I don't even have a lantern. What? Hold up. Where is my light coming from then? Is it for the keyboard? I... Hold on. Okay, so it doesn't work when I bind it, but hitting L has the effect. Even though you don't even wearing a lantern, it's quite strange. Why isn't there like a little lantern on your hip? But okay, so putting it to a shortcut doesn't work. We move on. Time is definitely changing. The time of day, that is. Did we come this way before? I feel like we must have, surely. Fire ant venom? Good grief. Don't get me even near fire ants. No, thank you. I am not dealing with that shit. Okay, so this is the fort. Oh, it's still being constructed. I see. This has to be little, surely. Large spotted arum. I don't know if I'm the entrance to that building is. I think that was a chest I spotted. No, it's not a chest. It's a work thing of some kind. It's fine. Hello. May I enter? A sawmill. Do you have any loot that I might steal from you? Strange question, I know, but a girl's desperate and she's got to ask these questions or she won't know the answers. Why is there... You move. Can you please move? Follow the, the scratches on the ground and open the doorway. I want to be let in. Maybe that happens with a quest later on. Maybe. I can see that it's a thing that can be done. I just can't physically do it at this point in time. Uh, is the foot entrance this way? Yes. Map. I completely missed the fact that I hit my marker. Uh, fort's back that way. Yeah, but I can go this way. Hi! Wait, you're not just gonna let me in, are you? Who are you? And what are you doing here? My friend and I are the future Donegada of the village on the lake. And Sheda is our protector. We'd like to talk to your chief. The captain? Well, follow the path. It will lead you to his quarters. Thank you. I'm also just going to check out everywhere else before I get there. Because I'm the looty sort. I have a... Uh, what's the phrase? Butterfinger? No, no, no. I don't know. Light fingers? No, that doesn't sound right either. Yo, citizen. Quit men, Saridengar. Es an ken vardo da harlam de. That's not what you called me two seconds ago. Radida. Kogwenoid. Didn't you call me like rootling or something stupid like that? Yo. Ah. 
Denied entry, I see. Hi. The weather's nice today, isn't it? I mean, it's a bit cloudy, but I mean, it's not raining, so sure. The pier. Probably should go do what I'm supposed to do. Rather than just keep looking at all these places. But hey, we're here. Hello, warehouse. Do you have loot for me? The last place I went was terribly disappointing. No loot to be found. Okay. Uh, sure, gold coins. Even though we don't use gold here. Yoink. Don't know what I need the rope for, but it's mine now. Oh, for fuck's sake. <sighs> it's the interact button. I don't think about it. I just press it before I even have the opportunity to go, wait a minute, there's another option on my screen. God damn it. It's what, four chests now? Jesus Christ. Yo. I could have had some really cool shit in there. Like, there could have been, like, amazing items. And instead, I get nothing for my troubles. stop and pause on the ones that are just open. Makeshift tools. But they're heavy. Thank god. Weight matters not. Uh, sure. So when do I get to improve my mechanical? <laughs> I'd like to improve even though I do want uh, diplomacy. See, the good thing about the previous game is that it would tell you on what level you would... Actually, no, that was just for your... No, it would. It told you at what level you gained your next talent, your next attribute, your next skill. Well, skill was every level, but still. It told you. This doesn't tell me, and I don't even like the skills. The skills are terrible. The skills are shit. Combat in this game sucks. It's got a long way to improve before this game's released. Oh. The little red door I can't use. Fair. <laughs> Alrighty, let's go find Captain. I love the Captain is here. <laughs> I might have to put my light on. My invisible lantern. Are you hiding it up your tunic? Nope. Just leaving all this gold everywhere. Y'all are weird. Hey, okay, well, have fun. Just standing there. Seems riveting. Is this a plant? It most certainly is. It's a milky white aloe. Really? That's an aloe? Oh, you can kind of tell. I think the leaves are a bit too smooth for it to be an aloe. I have an aloe. I have two. One start flowering really weirdly. I've never had them flower before. To be fair, they're only two years old, but uh, it's on some weird shit. Okay. Mine and river use rights. Governor Burren, Bridge Alliance Council representative on the island known as Tiafridi, which has its seat in the city of Hikmet. Do hereby. Do hereby. Does? Hereby, grant the mining rights of the mineral deposit. Why is this text up in the corner? This is weird. Of uh, the mineral deposit discovered in the territory of the lake fort and the use of the river called Feshmar by the locals for mining purposes to the Alliance Mining Company. 
They will be entitled to mine as much gold and other minerals as they can find, from which the Alliance and the city will receive 20% of the proceeds. Jesus, that's a lot. And the other one? Hunting certificate. Governor Burr and Bridget Alliance, Council Representative on the Island Noise Tier 3D, based in the city of Hikmet, hereby validates the hunting rights for the group known as the Skinners in the region of Lake Fort. They're authorized to take as much game and as many pelts as they wish. The Alliance reserves the right to levy a tax on their hunting mule. I'm surprised you haven't already, to be honest. Halt! Yeah, sorry. Move I along, thought about along. that as I looked you at the door. Have no, right to be here. no, you're very you're very right, sir. Why is it forbidden? Why do we have to move along? What's going on? Someone broke into the storeroom Ooh, and stole an important really? object. Something that the captain ordered. Until this matter is resolved, no unauthorized. I'm apparently good at tracking. To go near the Would you let me have a look for you? Can you tell me more about the theft? It's none of your business. Move along. Fair. Sharpish. Absolutely fair. Maybe the captain will tell me some more. <clears throat> <clears throat> Just going to loot from you right in front of your nose. Don't mind me. A simple splint. Noise. Captain, could you tell me more about the theft, please? It's telling not why I'm here, but like, I'd like to know. Fort Captain, he doesn't even get a name, the poor dear. Hello. Are you the chief of this fort? I'm the captain, yes. Who are you? We're from the village of Vigeshvar. My friend and I will soon be Donegada, and Sheda will soon be joining the warriors. Vigishvar is Meenan's village, isn't it? Oh, he's a fine man. What can I do oh, for yay. you? Yay, he has good rep. Nice. Talk about the game problem. Well, it's not why we're here, but we'll talk about it. For some time now, the woods have been increasingly quiet. Oh, the Skinners the have the contract. Disappearing. Of course. Our hunters return from the hunt empty-handed more and more often. Have your hunters noticed the same thing? We don't have any hunters at the fort. <clears throat> Often we buy meat from your people to feed the troops. But I know that a group of trappers has set mm -hmm. up camp nearby. They'll be able to tell you more about that than I can. We just read they the They may even be the source of the problem. They are, I can guarantee it Possibly, they are. Possibly, but uh, be careful when you talk to them. They're a bit rough around the edges. They're not the kind of people I like to work with. But they had proper papers issued in Hikmet. Please let me know what you learn. Will I do. wouldn't want those louts to damage the good relations between the fort and the village. What a nice man. I told what the Adams collected that could be poisoned. Some of our people are sick. We've collected various things that may have poisoned them, and we'd like to. This sort of thing is out of my hands. Speak directly to our doctor. Thank you, Captain. Thanks. Damn, that was up front. We'll leave you to your work. Wait. I was supposed to give your chief a gift to present to the High King of this island. However, the gift was stolen. Oh, that was the missing I item. I to find it in time, but unfortunately I can't make any promises. Uh, when it went missing? When did the gift disappear? A few days ago. The night after receiving the goods we were waiting for from the mainland. I checked that the book was what I was expecting, but no sooner was it put away than it was stolen. Uh, where? Where did you put it? The storeroom. In the storeroom. And those buggers hit hard. They smashed through the cage and wrecked the chest it was being stored in. That must have been loud. Did no one hear anything? Whoever did this must have known exactly how the camp worked. They waited until the guards making their rounds were on the opposite side of the camp. There was only one guard on duty when they broke in. They knocked him out, the poor bugger. He obviously couldn't tell us anything. The strangest thing is that although there were other valuables in the storeroom, they only stole that book. Anyway, if you want to go hmm. and see for yourself, don't hesitate. Just show this pass to the guard on duty. So, they either are locals who want the book in their own possession, uh, or... Yeah, actually, I don't, I don't know why they would leave the other we'll leave valuables. You to your duties, Captain. Goodbye. Maybe Goodbye, young people. someone from young people, someone from Tulemi, who's wanting to, uh, are you the doctor? Um, get rid of, you know, like heretical text or something. I don't know. Hello. Are you the healer of this fort? I'm the doctor in charge, yes. Do you need my help? 
Uh, ask her to analyze the items collected. There are people in our village who have fallen ill with a strange disease. It's something we've never seen before. They suffer from headaches and dizziness, and have become so weak they must stay in bed. Others have started to show the same symptoms. We investigated to find out where it was coming from, which led us to the mine. The miners told us they use a highly toxic product, Quicksilver, that they must not inhale. But we've seen them washing the gold in the river, and we think it's poisoning the water, or the fish. When heated, Quicksilver disappears completely. I'd be very surprised if the illness you speak about comes from there. What do you mean by heated, We've though? Gathered it's not a few being healed. Here. It's not being heated. I believe you it's can test washed. them to make sure they don't contain any Quicksilver. I really don't think you'll find any. But if it'll make you feel better, let me take a look. Thank you. Where did you get these disgusting things? The mine? The mud is from the miner's waste. We gathered it on the banks of the river that flows into the lake our village is built on. The fish came from the same river. We found it dead near a spot where our people fish. Well, I highly doubt I'll find any quicksilver, but I'll do the porcelain test. It's going to take me a while. Would you like to wait here or come back later? Wait here, please. We'll wait for you. All right, I'll get right to work. I've Thanks. done the tests, and I can't believe it. It is Quicksilver, or was it is something it Quicksilver? else? It is, and I can't explain it. Of course, it's possible that the miners didn't heat the mixture sufficiently What's before washing it What's it mean? They're probably not the heating river. it at all. Or Do they that know that it's meant to be heated? Metal was spilled on the riverbank. Especially the natives. But I'd never have thought it could poison fish. Or the people who eat them. It's an incredible discovery. That's all well and good. But our people are dying because of your mine and your quicksilver. Yes, but nobody had realized it. They were indeed very careless, but there was no ill will on their part. There have True. been many cases of miners being poisoned. Most of the time it's because they'd breathed in the fumes. In any case, I can prepare a remedy that will help your sick. And of course, you'll have to stop fishing in the river altogether. Uh, no, you can stop washing your quicksilver in our river or start no. heating that shit together. Ask where the miners take the risk of poisoning themselves. Why do the miners risk being poisoned if they know the fumes are dangerous? Some people think it only happens if you're clumsy, while others think they'll be fine if they take the treatment regularly. This is often true in the short term, but the long-term consequences of poisoning are almost always fatal. Yet it's hard to quench the thirst for gold. I understand that your people don't attach much importance to it. But where we come from, gold makes the world go round. Anything can be bought and bargained with gold, including lives. What does the treatment involve? Your patients have accumulated poison in their bodies. This treatment will help them eliminate it, but it will take time. In the meantime, they'll have to rest and stop eating fish. Would you like me to make it for you? Thank you, but we'll have to think about it first. Uh, no, I'll take it. I'll give it to me. We need the treatment you told us about for our people who have been poisoned. Can you help us? Of course. We'd better get started right away, since it's going to take some time. Don't Come you on. have any on hand? Don't need your help. I mean, you said yourself that the miners need it regularly. There should be enough to treat oh, those who are sick thanks. for several weeks. If you need more, you have to come back and find me. They must drink this potion twice a day in the morning and evening. Drink a lot of water and rest. And above all, don't eat any more fish as long as the mine is active. I've told the head miners to be careful about the heating and any discharges into the water. But I can't guarantee it won't happen again. You'll all have to be patient. But those who are sick will recover. Thank you for your help, Doctor. Please. I'm only doing my job. Still, nice I'll leave you to your work. Okay. Goodbye. How do we close Goodbye. down the mine? I don't think I have anything else to do. I mean, I don't think that's going to happen. I don't think that's going to happen. 
Abut folad em seund me vranawar las mader ka hemenam. Maybe, but I don't trust Mev. I still haven't reached the part in the first game upon re-watching it to remember what Mev's contribution to the game is. I'm still convinced that we kill her. So I don't know that I trust her words per se, but... Hello, Captain. I don't know if we could tell Hello, him. Hello, young people. Is there a problem? Oh, okay. Will you Goodbye. Bye. Never mind, old person. Hey, he calls me young people, it's only fair. So... We have the option of convincing the miners of what I know not. Uh, convince the miners supervisor to shut down the facility. Yeah, I don't think that's going to go very nicely, but we can do that. Otherwise, I'm sure we can ask Mev. Heal the sick. Ask for Khan's help. Also an option. Yeah. What about Mev, though? Mev was an option. Mev ain't on my map. Uh... I might. Why not Furkan for help? I like Furkan. Furkan's great. Bus travel to my town. What can I click on to fast travel? There? To travel. <laughs> oh, that was quick. Wow. Furkan. I don't know where you are. I'm just gonna blindly follow the minimap. Because there's no compass in this game, which was actually really helpful in the previous game, but hey, whatever. We seem to make everything more difficult than the first game, for reasons quite beyond me. Hello. Ah, you still haven't finished the painting, sorry. Oil drawing. Hello, Forkan. Bertir Simad. It's nice to see you again. How are you, Neelan? And you, Shader? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you, sir. I'm well, surprised Nilan responded. Did you go see Mina? He doesn't like the foreigners. Do you know a little more about the ritual you have to perform? Yes, we've spoken to him. Oh, yeah. Mev, the Tierna Har Kadaktas will accompany us through the final stages of our initiation. She tested our combat skills and gave us two missions to complete. Fascinating. They're undoubted tests to make sure you've remembered everything that's been passed on to you. Can I help you in any way? Ask him for advice on how to close the mine. The gold mine that's upstream is poisoning the village. They release their quicksilver into the river, which poisons the fish, the animals, and all of us. Releasing quicksilver into the river is madness. I wouldn't have imagined it was possible for this metal to cause secondary poisoning. But every precaution should have been taken, since it's extremely toxic. What do you plan to do? I was asking you! <laughs> we just wish and hope they won't start putting the quicksilver into the water again. Yeah, it's just a ticking time bomb. We need to close bomb. this mine for good. Do you have any idea what we could do? Hmm. It would take an official order to convince the mine's directors that it needs to be shut down. I could make a fake one. But if we want to be taken seriously, I'll need an official seal. But be warned. From where? It will only be temporary. No matter how good a counterfeit I'm able to make, they will eventually figure things out, and the mine will reopen. Will the fort have one of those seals you mentioned? They might, but they won't give it to you, uh, even if you sir? ask nicely. Sir? You'll have to steal it. Sir? You know what they look like, don't you? I remember when you showed me your family seal. You'll be looking for something like that, but bigger. Official seals are always more complicated. Is there anything else? No, I'm good, man. Uh, 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 I'm good. Bye, bro. Goodbye, Forkan. See you later. I'm sure you'll carry out the tasks entrusted to you brilliantly. Thank you. 